Things only British people say. That's me, I'm British. How's it going, mate? Yeah, I'm not bad. What are you doing? I'm going to hospital. How's the doctor there? Yeah, he's well good. Well, I never. Well, I never. Well, I never. Well, I never. Do you know what that means? Well, I never. It doesn't mean anything. But if you're in England, it means... No. It means... I... Wow. It means... I'm surprised at what you're saying to me right now. It means... The words that are coming out of your mouth right now are making me feel surprised. It's like an exclamation. Well, I never. You know, I went fishing the other day. Caught three bass, two mackerel, a couple of trout and a salmon. Well, I never. So I was driving back from the station the other day. It took me 25 minutes just to get up Abbey Road. Well, I never. Well, I never. Well, I never is a phrase which you can use to make like an exclamation. It's something which only British people say, as far as I know. It doesn't exist in any other uh, language, any other dialect, any other accent. Well, I never. I was climbing the tree the other day and I saw an entire nest of baby pigeons. Well, I never. So I was out cutting the grass and my lawnmower blew up for no reason. Well, I never. It's like, it's, a, it's such a strange phrase and it makes absolutely no sense, but if you want to sound British, use it. Well, I never. Crikey, crikey. This is a, this is one of those words which your parents probably use. You might use it as well. I've got mates who use this word. Crikey. You know, I went out yesterday and the wind was, uh, uh, I was sailing in a gale force three wind. Crikey, are you okay? It's got that kind of feel to it. Crikey, crikey. Yeah, I went in, um, I went to, into town yesterday and uh, there was a queue outside Builder Bear all the way down to Boots. Crikey. I was down at John Lewis and they were selling Panasonic TVs for 1400 quid. Crikey. That's cheap. I was at Weatherspoons the other day, I got fish and chips and a cup of tea for £3.59. Crikey. 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 Crikey is like wallahi, wallahi. In Arabic they say wallahi, or like, oh my god. Like, wow, oh my god. It's like an exclamation. We'd say, crikey, cr-i-k-e-y, c-r-i-k-e-y, crikey. Another similar word to crikey is blimey. Blimey, that was fast. Blimey, that plane was low. I mean, I do live in Hounslow, but crikey, that plane was low. Blimey, that's low. I thought it was going to hit the house. Another random thing, going to hospital. In England, in Britain, where I'm from, Britain, we say, I'm going to hospital. Americans would say, I'm going to the hospital. They would define the word hospital. We say, I'm going to hospital. Just a random thing. So next time you say, I'm going to hospital, don't say, I'm going, I nearly said it there, I'm going to the hospital. Just say, I'm going to hospital. It's a weird thing, but like you get used to it. I'm going to hospital. It doesn't work with other things. You can't say, I'm going to shop or I'm going, you could say, I'm going to town. Um, you could say, I'm going to the cinema. But certain things like hospital, town, um, yeah, you just don't define. You just say, I'm going to hospital. Bit of a weird one, but write that down. If you see something you like, you're going to go, that's well good. That is well good. That's well good. That's well good. Did you see that movie? Oh, yeah, it was well good. Did you see that film? Oh, yeah, it was well good. Have you played the new Fortnite game? Oh, yeah, it's well good. Yeah, it's well good. Yeah, yeah. How's your new bike? Well good. It's well good. Yeah, we say it's well good. Like anything that you can describe, someone says, how was the film? How's your new bike? How's your new car? It's well good. I love it. It's well good. Well good, mate. Yeah, blood. Well good. Like, you don't have to do it quite like that, 
but if you just say well good to describe something which is a positive thing then you sound incredibly British because only British people say well good. Lee Nelson's well good show. Cheers mate. Thank you. Cheers mate. Here you are. Do you want a drink? Cheers mate. Do you want some pizza? Cheers mate. Do you want a cup of tea? Cheers mate. Cheers mate means thank you. It means thanks mate. You know what mate means. Mate's like thanks mate. Cheers mate. Oh cheers mate. Oh here's that 10 quid uh, I owe you. Cheers mate. By the way quid means pounds. Like British pounds. Uh, we say quid instead of like in America you can say like dollars or bucks. In America you can say dollars. You can say bucks for like slang. Here we say quid. Here's that 10 quid I owe you. Cheers mate. Never guess who I bumped into the other day for an old chin wag. Old George Spud. Chin wag. Never guess who I bumped into down, um, down Asda. Old, uh, you know, Dell and Marlene from up the road. Oh, how are they? Yeah, they're well good. We had a good chin wag, actually. Crikey, really? Yes, we did. Well, I never. When you were learning English at school or in those after work lessons, I bet they did not teach you this response to how are you. In England, such an incredibly common response to the commonly posed question, how are you, is this. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm alright. I'm not bad. In England, we like to understate things. And if somebody says to you, how are you? And you reply with, I'm not bad. That's a really, really authentically British and English thing to say. You will come across like you are uh, a native speaker, like you've been living there for 10, 20 years. As a gurn mate? Yeah, I'm not bad. What are you up to? I'm going to hospital. How's the doctors up there? Yeah, they're well good. By the way, is that 10 quid I owe you? Cheers, mate. Crikey, I gave you 20. Blimey, here you go. Anyway, what are you doing now? Do you want to go up the park for a chin wag? Yeah, why not? Look at that giant swan. Looks like the size of my house. Well, I never.